and welcome to my channel shine star collections and i was not intending to film today today is monday april the 24th um and so my reason why i decided to turn on the camera is because i got my just japanese haul and some other things so I just figured I'd turn on the camera just to do a quick um, little haul video because it's several things in here. So it's worth filming. I don't usually film on Mondays, but I didn't film yesterday because I, I thought I was done. I wasn't expecting this from Jess for at least a couple of days. But it's here, so let's go on and go through it all. And I'll just go in and sleep. I'm not going to do any storing on camera right now. So, okay. First thing. This is her card. If you haven't looked at my other videos already, Jess is a good friend of mine. And um, to thank her for all of her hard work, um, I figured that I would gift her with a card. Um, it's one of her big wish list cards that I found on the Okio and I will put the picture right here. Um, her bias is Woo Young, so I decided to go in and gift her that card because she loves it. I actually love it, so now I need my own card like that <laughs> since Wu has become part of my bias line. So, um, in the card, she's just, um, thanking me again for buying it. So it's the music art, Wu Young. She said, it means so much to have a friend like you. I'm truly lucky to have you in my life. Love you to bits, Jess. That's so sweet. So, just sent me some stickers and she sent me this. I don't need this album, but it's, it's actually a good idea to use it as like a, um, as a way to send uh, photo cards in because it would be well protected. So that's a great idea. She has a lot of them left over from the go that she ran for our friends. So um, yeah, so that's a great way to store them. So if you guys um, have a lot of these polka albums, you can do the same. Okay, let's see. So, she put them in here. Again, this is from um, my Japanese haul that I did with her. The last one. Um, I really don't rem exactly remember what I got. Um, I know I have it written down somewhere. Because I do have a doc where I have all of my albums. Or, excuse me, all my PCs that I bought. Um, on Neokyo, but I swear I've, I've bought so much that I don't remember exactly <laughs> what it is. So let's see. Oh, so one of them is so long. Um, let's see. Let's kind of clear this out the way. So one of them is so long. Um, this is Make Star. Um, I don't remember what number. I believe it might be number one or two. It's one of the first Make Stars. It's with the heart filter. That's what this one is on top. Um, give me a minute while I struggle with trying to get it out. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, so that's some. Uh, Make Star Heart Fields for Card. Uh, I don't know if it's in frame or not. Sorry. And then Yosan. And another Yosan card. Fingers won't work. Another Yosan card. And then let's see what's in the other one. Um, so we have 
this one to open. And we have... <laughs> oh, is this my Yosan haul? Because, yeah, there's a bunch. Oh. Here is... Another Yosan here. Here's Zhang Ho. Another Yosan there. This is all spin off cards. And then, okay, I guess it's some polka cards. So I have these. I have the lucky draw cards. I totally forgot about these. This is Yoon Ho. And here's Mingi. Okay, so now we have some non ATs here. I know that's a surprise. And I got cards from a seller. She's actually a YouTuber, also. Um, I believe her name is Honeydew. Honeydew. Um, she has some great videos. I love her nails. Speaking of nails, my nails are in horrible shape, so I apologize. My nail appointment is tomorrow, so you know I was really thrown off for this. Um, but she was nice enough to send me... Um, I answered one of her Instagram ads. Or Instagram ads. Instagram <laughs> posts about um, selling some cards because... Um, her, um, her victim biases are different and, um, oh, this is so hard right now because, um, if you guys are fans of Victon, then you know that you should know by now, or maybe you don't, that, um, Hanze, Subin, and Bianchan, um, didn't re-sign their contract. So, for right now, Victon's up in the air. So, we're not sure what's going to happen. But, in the meantime, here are my Hanse cards. So, these are all from um, Choice. Those are from Choice. And I believe this one is from the one right before and I can't remember it right now I'm just it in because I can't think straight right now <laughs> um but yeah unfortunately Victon is kind of on hold um because like I said three of them didn't re-sign the contracts and then um Sun Sheik's in the military and Sejun is on his way to the military so it's kind of a a rough time for Vic Don fans and it's been a rough um, few days for K-pop in general because of everything with Moonbin and it's very sad and um, I really wish that um, you know for a couple of days K-pop kind of took a break um, but it seemed like that um, a couple of the channels you know didn't really take time off you know for the k-pop community to heal and um you know it was almost like business as usual back by friday and that was just kind of disheartening to me because i felt like things could have been put on hold at least until yesterday or today um i know bigger events couldn't like i know Taman had his fan meeting over the weekend and um and things like that but um yeah just a couple of smaller things like the music shows for example really could have been put on hold but it's done now but um, i definitely give my condolences to um all of moonbin's fan fans friend uh friends and family um because it's a sad situation um so yeah it's been kind of a rough few days in k-pop so hopefully we can heal together but anyway what i'm opening is a 
card from my friend. We're actually doing a trade, or we were supposed to do a trade. But well, we still are. Um, Jess is going to actually have the card from my other friend. Um, so I could get... Oh, that's cute. She threw a picture of it on. Because it's your son. Um, so she had this card. There was a card that she wanted. It was a sign card that she um, wanted to complete a set. It was actually one of the Rocky cards. Or Beyond Zero cards. And um, so she offered this card up to me as a trade. Because I had purchased the card for her on the Okio. And, um, so we are trading and she sent me this one and I am so grateful because this card is going for the lowest I've seen it is probably about 40, 40 something dollars because it's, uh, I believe it's a sound wave lucky draw and that's the reason why it's so high. Also because it is a filter card. So, and usually, you know, when they do filters, um, it's usually a lot more expensive. So, yeah. Really happy about getting this one, because now I don't have to. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lucky draw, because it's thick. So, oh, oh, I'll take him out in a minute. But yeah, that's him. So thank you, Vicky, for trading that with me because I really, really wanted a card, but I just didn't want to pay $40 for it, even though I've paid $40 for several cards. <laughs> but um, I didn't want to pay $40 for that one. So, um, yeah. Anyway. So these, oh, well, these are not a part of my photo card haul these are and I don't mind showing them off because that would give the person I bought them from a plug um, this person is on Etsy name their name is station alley on Etsy and I'll just put the name up there and what Allison did is they made stickers for me for my cup sleeve coming up this weekend which I think I will probably like share a little bit of footage from um, but she makes some really cute little stickers and so she made me a bunch of stickers and she also made me a special sticker if I can find it all these are um, stickers she had in her arsenal on her page on uh, Etsy like look at that those are so cute and then he's, here he is she made this especially for my event it's Halazia Sungwa so um, since it's a Yunho Sungwa event she gave me a bunch of Yunho and some oh my god <laughs> I didn't know it's adorable. Look at that. Um, so she gave me a bunch of Sungwa um, and Yunho stickers. And um, so I'm going to put these in like people who um, set aside um, tiers. Um, or excuse me, um, pre-ordered the tiers for the cup sleeves this weekend. Um, I am going to take a couple for myself. But the rest will, for me, will be for everybody who... Um, attends the cup sleeve and so, so yeah so she sent this to me hi thank you so much for your order I am glad to be able to supply my stickers at your event again I hope the cup sleeve goes well and that you have a wonderful day Allison so yeah so Allison made me some stickers for my event I am so excited they're really cute and um, I think they'll be a big hit and I hope that maybe you guys will go to um, and check their stuff out on Station Alley on Etsy. Okay, so let me put these back. But yeah, I am gonna I am gonna take a couple because <laughs> I want some. 
and I don't even really use them. Well, I don't use them at all. Actually, I don't even peel them off. I just leave them as they are and put them in my um, freebie thing. Oh, I left a card. I am so sorry, Yosan. This is part of my Jess haul, and I just kind of put them aside for a second and forgot about them. <laughs> that's, um, I think that's Valentine's, Yosan. Mess over here. I'm not sure which card that is. Um, I'm gonna have to look up a template, and I'll probably just edit the names in there for you, which ones they are. Like I said, I just wasn't prepared to film today. Okay, and quickly our last one. Might be a Macari, maybe, because I did, or it might be my kingdom. I don't know. No, it's it's definitely ATs, because I am expecting some kingdom cards to come too. Let's see, Yosan, it's Yosan again. So this is Fever to Yosan. This is yes 24 um Yosan. So I have this too. And it's from a seller on Mercari. Thank you for buying. Hope he arrives to you quickly and safely. So he did and he looks great. Oh, just drop the envelope. So I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve these right now. Um I will probably, I don't know, I might leave them, well, I'll probably go ahead and just store Hanze. Um, I might leave Yosan until I actually get my haul, because my haul is um, from Mercari, or Neokio rather, is um, almost ready. I'm just waiting for one card, because I threw one card in there at the end. And I won't spoil it for you. You just have to wait until it comes. But, um, yeah, that's part of the problem is that every time I was close to having an order ready to go, I would order another card. So that's exactly what I did. But I think it was worth it. It was a Sunwa card. And um, so you'll see what it is when it arrives. Okay, let's get this tape off so we can go ahead and. Hmm. Okay, yes, it is tape. It is washi tape. That's in there pretty good. Okay. So, what can we quickly chat about? Um. Yeah, like I said, this has been kind of a rough week for K-pop, um, and um, I hope that people have found some solace, um, and some peace. So hopefully, like I said, we can heal together. There's nothing really else going on here. Um, you know, I'm just kind of, I'm sad about Victon because I feel like um, they have always had so much talent and they've always done so, um, put out such great music and they work so hard and they're chaotic and funny because I've seen um, a bit of Victon's content. But I felt like that both um, Play M and IST um, didn't really treat them well, in my opinion. They just didn't do enough for them. And um, I'm excited about where the mem what the members are going to do going forward. Um, Hanze seems to be pretty comfortable and excited about his solo work that he's going to do eventually. 
I'm not sure what Subin's gonna do. Um, I follow all of them on Instagram, so I will be keeping up with them. I know Beyond Chun has been acting, so um, I'm not sure if he's gonna continue to pursue acting or do some music on his own. Um, but whatever they decide to do, um, I will definitely support them all because they, they deserve a better company. And I hope, I forgot, I think it was Sejun who said, um, and Sejun actually remains with IST for right now. And I think that's mostly because he's about to go into the military in June. Um, so he was... He said Big Don is forever. So I think they're planning on doing something as Vic Don when um, Sejun and Sun Sheik are done with the military. Um, I was kind of surprised that Sun Wu stayed with IST. I mean, he just got out of military, so... Maybe he's going to do a solo through IST. That might be it. Um, yeah, I really thought that he probably would join the other three. Um, on leaving, but he did not. So he's still with them. And we'll see what happens if... Uh, what happens with the others. Um... As far as ATs is concerned, ATs is always busy. Um, there's been a lot of talk on the timeline. I really don't want to. <laughs> don't really want to go over it because it's not. You know, it's just people saying stuff about what they feel the direction of the band should be and blah blah blah. And, you know, I will just at least say this. I will say at least that I know that KQ tries and I know they have their faults. And, um, you know, but um, both the fans and KQ could do more for ATs, to be honest. That's how I feel about it. So, um, and I don't want to get into a whole long discussion. So that's all I'm going to say. Um, they did... The Love Some Festival this weekend. They looked amazing doing it, as usual. Oh, it's cute. And then, um, they looked like they really had fun doing an outside festival. I will say that I wish that KQ would, um, do more festivals like the Love Some Festival that is not a K-pop festival. Um, oh, wait, hold on. I didn't know it does that. Hold on one second. So the filter is not on the card? <laughs> okay, okay, cute. All right. That is cute, though. So the filter is separate from the card. Interesting. All right. Um, I did not know that. Is that why it's a fest? Okay. Well, only people are repricing it, you know, expensive. It doesn't have to be expensive. Um, but yeah, they look like they had a good time doing the Love Some Festival. And um, I hope that KQ will continue to expose them to non K pop fans. Um, because I feel like that ATs has music for everybody that they can enjoy. You might not like one song, but you might like another one. And, um, I feel like that they could benefit from going to a, um, something like a love some more. The, what is it called? The water bomb? The water? <laughs> the festival in January? January. No. July? July. Um, I think it's called the Waterbomb Festival, but I looked at some clips of the Waterbomb Festival and I like, oh my god, they're gonna have so much fun. Um, because they love to be hype and 
it looks like it's a hype festival and we all know those of us that attended the tour and even those of us that, that didn't know that ATs had a lot of fun with the water on both tours whether it was pouring water on each other or um you know playing around on stage with water um so i think they're gonna enjoy that a lot so good job for kq for getting them into that um hope you live stream it somewhere so we could see it us international fans can see it um but i would love to see ats eventually get to festivals here in the um on the western side of the world that are not k-pop like Coachella or a um a Lollapalooza um so hopefully they will I'm pretty sure with those you have to be invited um I have a little bit more insight into Lollapalooza since um I used to cover rock bands and so I know a little bit about that but I'm still not sure I think it's pretty much up to the organizers um if they want to invite you and you do have to make a lot of noise i guess if it's you know as far as with um how your band is done um txt is gonna go for the second year in a row so very happy for that congratulations to them um but i want ats to go so please lollapalooza invite ats i think you guys would enjoy them okay Here are my Hanse cards. Um, like I said, I have um, my big haul coming from Neokyo. It's my own haul. This was my part of my Just Japanese haul. So this is Just Japanese haul number two or three. I can't remember. <laughs> and I actually ordered some more cards with Just. So there will be more coming eventually. Um... But these are from the last one. And I thank her again for helping me feed my addiction. Um, and as far as my kingdom cards that I mentioned earlier, I do have some kingdom cards in the way. I was very lucky to find a seller that had a good amount of um, kingdom cards for me to buy. And... Um, and at very cheap prices, so I'm very, very grateful. So, um, probably after the big haul comes, um, I will be able to show off my kingdom binder, and it will look a lot better than it does right now. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for joining me for this little, this little haul from Jess. Um, in addition to the cards I got from Mercari and cards I got from the seller and my um, little treat from Allison for my cup sleeve um, I will surely put up some um, clips of the cup sleeve um, later on um, they'll probably come up well most likely they will be up before this video is up um, so you'll be able to see this video eventually um, and then I'll do a storing video where I'm probably storing. I might be just cheating and storing these off camera and then leaving all the storing for my um, huge haul. Which I think will be a lot more fun. So yeah, I'll probably do that. So these cards, the next time you see them, they'll probably be already in a binder. Um, my Yosan collection is going very well. I just need to put all these away pretty much and um you know still buying but i still have some cars that i wanted to buy so hopefully i'll be able to find those soon so again thanks for joining me for this little quick haul um and like and subscribe if you like and i will talk to you soon bye